Right now, I am joined by Katie Buccino from WQYK for Katie's Country Music News. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm so happy to be back. Yeah, it's fun having you on. All right, yeah. so for those who don't know, really quick, let's give a little backstory. How long have you been with WQYK? I hit my one year anniversary next week, actually, so oh almost at a year. Awesome. And what do you do with for them? Exactly? So I do the morning show with John and Robbie. Okay. We do that from 6 to 10, and then Jacksonville is stuck with me until 3 p.m. because I also do midday, so oh. they get a lot of me. You're busy. <laughs> yeah, but busy. Obviously they like you because you've been there yeah okay, hopefully so. so if not they're stuck with me either way <laughs> <laughs> all right so tell us about some upcoming shows in Jacksonville so of course it's Florida Georgia week so we have yeah. some fun stuff this weekend there's like a 90s throwback party happening oh, that's cool. after the Florida Georgia uh, baseball game so vanilla ice is gonna be there yeah it's like an ultimate 90s throwback party so oh that's gonna gosh. be super fun then we also have Sammy Hagar on Thursday night which is just gonna be a really cool show yeah and then November this didn't happen on purpose but November is like the month of Chris for us at WQYK. Okay. We have Chris Jansen coming to Nocatee, which right. we talked about last time I was here. Yeah. We have Chris Lane playing at Froggy's Drive for Research Charity Golf Tournament, mm -hmm. and Chris Young is going to be in town. And then to top it all off, Chris Stapleton, who's another country oh artist, releasing a new album. So month of Chris is for us. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Um, okay, so what about, so you talked about Florida, Georgia, some of the things. I mean, when you mentioned Thursday about Sammy Hagar, is that tomorrow or next Thursday? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess tomorrow. if it's kind of leading up to, to yeah. Florida, Georgia. It's all the fun. Anything else, though, we can expect kind of tailored around that that y'all are going to be doing? Are you going to be out there? So I am going to be out there because I've okay. never experienced the you Florida Georgia thing. No, this is my Ooh. first year. I missed it Girl, last year. Get out early. So they traffic's are. Traffic's crazy. I've heard that. So yes. my best friend's from UF and sent me an itinerary for yeah. our day on Saturday. And we're getting up at like 630. I didn't know the party kicked off so early. Ooh. So I'm excited. I'm sure it even <laughs> starts the night before. Honestly. Oh, yeah. I think it real. started yesterday. RV <laughs> City is like in full force already. Seriously. All right. Then, of course, we have to talk about traffic. Travis, Kelsey, and Taylor Swift. We have to. I mean, I, last time you were here, I'm like, I'm already kind of sick of hearing about it, but it's I so know. relevant right now. So what can you tell me? Do you have any insight on what's going on? Listen, all I can say is that the Kansas City Chiefs have not lost a game that okay. Taylor Swift has been at. Granted, I mean, they won a Super Bowl without Taylor Swift. True. But this season, <laughs> she, she, it's not important. She's looking pretty good. I mean, she's looking good for the team. I don't want to say she's the reason, but all I'm saying is that it seems like they only lose when she's not in there. So. Okay, interesting, because now I'm kind of getting flashbacks of Tony Romo. What was it, Jessica Simpson? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and then that just was a disaster eventually. So hopefully things look good. Oh, you hear? You'll have to see what I've got coming up with uh, Jack's Humane. Anyway, thank you so much for joining Thanks us for today. Me. It's good to see you. You too. Can't wait to see what you have for us next time.